Rock Fixes Stop Hello and welcome to Mark Fixes Stuff. Today we're going to play with my Spectrum. Oh, but I don't have a cassette player. Whatever will I do? Ah, but I know. I can load some tap files in using OTLA and my PC sound card. Let's have a look at the connections on the back. A 9 volt center negative power connector. Power pack can supply up to 1.4 amps. Next we've got the edge connector. I'm not going to plug anything into that so you know I'm not cheating. Microphone for recording and the ear socket for listening for programs. We also have a UHF output that's been converted to a composite video on this spectrum. So I can connect it to the ancient television set over there. Lovely. Right, well, what next? I know. Let's connect this sucker up. Right, some of you might be completely new to Spectrum, so we're just going to go through the cabling. A composite cable here, which goes into a SCART block in the back of my TV over there. Pop that in nice and snug. Lovely. And on the 48K models of the Sinclair Spectrum, the sound helpfully comes out of this small speaker on the bottom of the unit, which is a real pain if you're trying to play Jet Set Willy at midnight without waking up the kids. A mono audio cable and that's got two jack plugs one on each end. I actually made this for a specific reason the other day. So we take the mono connector. Have I said mono enough? And we'll pop it into the a prize if you can remember. Yes, the ear socket. Always remember that the spectrum needs to listen to the program so you're putting it into its ear. Great. And the other end of this cable goes into my PC sound card output. Okay. Right. Yep. Mono. Did you get that? It's mono. You can use stereo cables spliced together, but you'll get poor results on some outputs I've found. So mono. Mono. 37p for two connectors. These are quite cheap ones, to be honest. I have the power! The power plug, to be more precise, which I'm going to put into the power socket, thus powering on the spectrum. Good stuff. Right, so there's the TV RCA connection and the mono cable into the ear socket. If you press the J key, which is key coded for load, then hold down symbol shift and press P twice, then press enter, then the machine will start listening. In the meantime, I've downloaded OTLA in a RAW file, unzipped it to its own directory on the PC, as well as the Spectrum TOSEC. So, first off, we go to the folder and double click on otla.exe and we're confronted with this you can see there's a few models which are supported here Amstrad MSX ZX81 as well as the Sinclair you can even pick a subset of the model but I've left that blank and that seems to work not sure what enable interrupts does probably in the instructions which I haven't read anything you put in loading name will actually load as the header on the machine itself so leave the loader settings as default Samples at 44 100 Hz, bits per sample at 3.5, and the waveform is left as cubic. The rest are described as experimental. So now we're going to go File, then New plus Add, and you can type the beginnings of the name here. I'm going to load up Night Law here because it's distribution denied and I'm a rebel. Now it's going to show us that it's going to add these blocks. There's no warnings or exclamation marks here, so everything should be good. And we we'll click OK. And then we click play. Now because I've already done night law, it's asking if I want to overwrite my SBB file. And I'm going to say yes for this, but you won't see this the first time. So over to TV Live Cam. Up nicely there. 
what it actually does is load the speed loader into the spectrum and then fast load it at about 1200 bps. So things load in a very short time. Yep, there it is. Night Law loaded up and that was in real time. That's right, 27.9 seconds. How awesome is that? It can also output a WAV or MP3 file so you can play it from your MP3 player and not crawl behind your dirty old PC. So it's really easy. Um, truth be known, not every title works with it. Um, you can also load snapshots in there and they either load or they don't. So um, it does take some experimentation. So, thank you for joining me for another super exciting episode of Mark Fix's Stuff. And I hope to see you in the next episode. See you all soon.